Delaware Valley's leading news program with meteorologist Adam Joseph, Keith Russell, and Rob Jennings. Saturday night, we'll find out from AccuWeather just how long this cold, windy weather is going to be with us. And it's an annual Christmas tradition, a trip to the North Pole for some very special children. But the big story in Action News tonight is breaking news. A woman has been strangled in Philadelphia's Juniata Park section. This comes on the heels of two other murders in the same general area. Murders that have been linked to the same attacker through DNA. In this latest case, the 23-year-old victim was found inside a home in the 3800 block of Glendale Street, that's near Erie Avenue, late last night. The two other women who were killed were attacked in the Kensington section along Cumberland Avenue and Ruth Street. This is file video of those crime scenes. DNA evidence linked those two cases to the same attacker, but it's still unclear tonight whether this third murder is linked. The victim's name is still being withheld by police tonight. Of course, stay with Action News and 6ABC.com. For the very latest on this breaking story, we'll have more for you on Action News tonight, right after college football. Another big story this Saturday is fire tragedy in southwest Philadelphia. It was brief but deadly, and we will hear those heartbreaking words again. No working smoke detectors. Catherine Scott is live along South Daggett Street near Woodland Avenue. Catherine? Robert told the victim was 61 years old and that he was the 31st fire fatality in Philadelphia this year. When firefighters first arrived at the block, they were met with heavy black... December marks the beginning of climatological winter, and it sure feels like it this weekend. Let's go to the Action News Big Board. David Murphy is here for Adam tonight. Pretty chilly tonight, David. Yeah, absolutely. In fact, Rob, most of the afternoon, most of the area in the 30s, and we had winds in the teens. It's kind of a good news, bad news story, though, on the Big Board tonight on Storm Tracker 6 Live 3D. First of all, that area of low pressure, the so-called clipper system that we've been tracking for the last four or five days, is as AccuWeather projected kind of fading past us to the south tonight. That means all of the precipitation, some rain in the southern Delmarva, but lots of snow from Richmond to Raleigh, all the way back into Cincinnati, Ohio today and tonight. That's all missing us to the south. Unfortunately, because the warmer air has been suppressed to the south by that passing low pressure center, you can see all the rain in that warmer air down by Charlotte. It feel cold, David. Thank you. You can get the latest from AccuWeather anytime and details on any warnings or code blues at 6abc.com. We have live radar and satellite images there for you as well as street leveling forecasting to pinpoint conditions right where you live. It's all there at 6abc.com. Of course, it is never too cold to fly to the North Pole, and today the annual fantasy flight for special children took off, sort of, from Horsham. Action News reporter Nora Mushanik went along for the ride. Santa Sleigh 5-2, like to pick up our clearance to the North Pole. It's every kid's dream, a trip to the North Pole, and that dream came true for over 230 mentally and physically. And there's a lot more ahead on Action News tonight. A church comes together to pray for their community, which is struggling to keep police officers on the payroll. Philly's fave Shane Victorino takes some time out today to bring some holiday cheer to some children there. And who doesn't love a parade? Even the cold weather couldn't keep down spirits today. Those stories, plus Keith Russell with sports. He's got the Flyers, college hoops, and more. David returns with our exclusive AccuWeather 7-Day, and Action News will be right back. Handshake. Yeah, you stop the plug. Come on, let up. <laughs> this is nice. This is really nice. It's a man's meal. Uh huh. Yeah. Matt and Tam are back there cooking right now. You might be in real trouble. I got another girlfriend. Action News mornings. Who knows? We could be coming to a diner near you. Action News is number one, and so is Melbourne's. The Pennsylvania Lottery. An Upper Darby man is in a coma tonight after a vicious attack carried out allegedly by two teenagers. 19-year-old Jeremiah Alexander and a 16-year-old are behind bars tonight. They're accused of beating and stomping the 34-year-old victim early yesterday morning. Police say the attack was so brutal the victim was left with a sneaker imprint on his face. 
Police say the attackers had apparently decided they didn't like the man's attitude and thought they had been disrespected. A 21-year-old Ali man still hospitalized in Keith Russell with the Flyers winning a game. That's their present. <laughs> That's their present. They finally got a victory. Yep. Finally got a victory. The Flyers had lost three in a row. Power play with no power. Today, they decide to spread the wealth. Facing the Devils, a player who's picking up steam when it comes to all-star voting. Claude Giroux, his 13th, he ties the game at two. Flyers the only team in hockey with four guys who have 10 goals. The captain, Mike Richards, with his 10th, gives the Flyers a 3-2 lead in the third. Danny Briere, he scores his 13th, that makes it 4-2. Jeff Carter later adds his 12th. Flyers snap their three-game skid 5-3. Tomorrow, they face the Islanders. The Eagles skate into the weekend knowing they can put their feet up and just enjoy, enjoy being in first place in the NFC East at 8 and 4. But if you remember, last year the Birds went 11 and 4 before two crushing losses in Dallas to end the season. The difference between that team and this team is simple. Chemistry, uh, our offense is, we got so many weapons on offense, uh, we got to mess up. Four touchdowns against Lehigh. Blue Hens rack up 450 yards. They beat the Mountain Hawks 42 to 20. Delaware meets New Hampshire in the quarters next weekend. Villanova, the reigning 1AA national champs, face your news. We have meteorologist David Murphy standing by with our exclusive AccuWeather 7 day. Now let's take a live look through the lens of Sky 6 HD, looking down on the Blue Cross River rink at Penn's Landing. Some people doing a little skating there. The Zamboni was there. Now here come the people. <laughs> They're back on the ice. Here's today's Almanac. you Adam is off tonight and David Murphy is here with us. Put another log or two on the fire. Uh, yeah, no kidding. Cold tonight and getting windier and colder tomorrow and then staying that way for a while. Unfortunately, Rob Storm Tracker 6 Live HD shows us that we are dry. That's the one bit of good news. The snow is missing us to the south. More on that in a second. Stepping outside the action cam out earlier in Center City. There's the Christmas tree next to the love statue in the middle of the parkway there. And everybody just milling around and getting their pictures taken. Those two are probably in love. Huh? 37 degrees right now in Philadelphia. 49% is your humidity. Barometric pressure right now, 29.82 inches and steady. The winds not all that strong out of the west northwest at 9. We've got some spots still in the teens. And the ocean temperature on the bottom line is a 4 and an 8 off Atlantic City. Checking out the numbers across the region. 37 officially in the city. 35 in Trenton. 36 in Wilmington. Allentown getting close closer to that freezing mark, sliding to 34 degrees. And here again is that good news. As AccuWeather projected, a clipper system is missing us to the south. We've got some rain being produced out of that near the coastal plain of Virginia and North Carolina. But in the upper elevations all the way back to Ohio, there has been some snow falling today. That will continue tonight, but it's all to our south. Around here, partly cloudy skies and a good and bad news situation. No snow, that's the good news. Bad news, because we're above that Arctic boundary, we're in the pocket of cold air and it is going to dip tonight. We'll see the suburbs going down into the 20s. Philadelphia probably below freezing, stopping at or about 30 degrees for an overnight low. And this could be the coldest overnight so far in at least parts of the region. We got close last night, but tonight could take the cake. So tomorrow, that sets us up with that system down to the south for a clouds and sun mix. Dry conditions tomorrow, but unfortunately behind that system, even stronger winds drawing cold air down. We'll see high temperatures in the 30s tomorrow, and then and the winds making it feel even worse than that. In fact, as we go in through next week, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, perhaps Wednesday as well, not only are we going to have high temperatures in the 30s, but it's also going to be windy as well with that area of low pressure stuck to the north, an area of high pressure out to the west, and the winds squeezing in between the two. So keep those coats and long johns and everything else handy over the next four or five days. Partly cloudy tonight, breezy and cold and overnight low, getting us down to about 30 in Philadelphia, probably the upper 20s in a lot of the suburbs, and winds out of the west northwest not all that strong but 6 to 12 miles per hour giving us a wind chill about 5 or 6 degrees below the temperatures checking out that exclusive anchor weather 7 day windy and cold on sunday a high of 39 but wind chills in the 20s and 30s with winds gusting as high as 30 miles per hour at times and again that clouds and sun mix then on monday it stays with us 38 the high windy and cold might even see a weak system spoking around that low up in new england giving us a flurry or a snow shower nothing much more than that but something to add to that wintry feel. Then
then Tuesday and Wednesday we stay cold and blustery. 37 degrees both days. Finally Thursday, yes, still a cold high of 37, but with high pressure close to us, it looks like the winds will finally die down. Then we get into Friday and Saturday, and do we get a bounce back? Well, not much. A high of 41 on Friday, Saturday 40, and each day could be a passing rain or snow shower. Oh. And I know some people are wondering with all of this cold air in place, when's winter? That's December 21st at 6.38 at the evening. So. I was wondering that because by the first or second week of December, usually right. we have something falling from the sky, which I won't name. <laughs> uh, finally, our 6ABC family and their family members enjoyed the station's annual holiday party today. The action cam was at the Lucky Strike Bowling Lanes in Center City, and everybody had a chance to test their bowling skills. Matt O'Donnell there had his own uh, technique for luck. <laughs> yeah. Not bad. Also having a great time today was our assistant news director, Tom Davis, with his youngest daughter there on the left, and our 6ABC president and general manager, Bernie Prezenica, on the right. Naturally, the star of the party for the children was Santa. We are out of time. Hope to see you tonight after college football. Action News, Jim Gardner, only on 6ABC.
97 blazing and popping R&B. You know we got total. Uh, Jermaine Dupree and Beanie Man. Just that it's hot night Jamaica. Hang around. Let's stop for Los Angeles. Lauren Hill, you're with my 97 brand. Three pounds, seven sitting around for my brethren. The clouds come down. War and peace. I take it to the street. Land sharp on my lawn. Chop the thumbs off the feet. The curse is first born. Is this thing on? Send them to the children of the corn. We the people. Uh, see to the eye of the need. I lead to rejection. Destroy me. Hot nigga. Private eye. Hot 97's biggest party is back. Hot night Jamaica. Attention passengers. Flight 97 is now ready for departure. Join us on that party plane. Keep listening all day long. Anytime you hear the Hot Night song of the day, be caller 97 at 1 800 223 9797. And you're going to Jamaica. Sponsored in part by BB Records. Hot 97, baby. Resort. Ah, okay, the Party by the pool and enjoy the sun with the Hot Night Jamaica artist. 
gonna be the ball, baby. Your trip to Hot Night Jamaica. Just be caller 97 when you hear the Hot Night song of the day. Am I the 97 caller? Ed and Maya have your first chance of the day to win every morning at 720. Yo, keep listening to win your tickets on Hot Night 7, baby. Hot Night Jamaica. Sponsored by 1-800-CALL-ATT. Hot Night 7. Lazy hip-hop and R&B. Did you say 